In this video, we're going to take a look at how to create a custom flower using Teo Flower. We're going to use pre-made model parts to build each part of the flower. Okay, here we are inside of Cinema 4D and you can see here we have our custom modeling bricks. And these are just being modeled inside of Cinema 4D and we're going to use these as our base components. So I'm going to remove these for now because I've already set some up as pre-modeled parts. So let's have a look at these and I'll bring them out of this little folder here because we don't need that. So let's hide everything apart from the petal. So you can see the petals made up of all of these bricks and they are set up in a hierarchy that lets us change the uh, rotation so if we want to rotate some bit further down just change how they how they look or if you want to animate them once they're set up inside of the Teo rig you can do that as well so this is what we've got we've got a petal a leaf a sepal then we have our pistol receptacle and a just a cylinder object which if we bring that up looks like that now one thing to note with all of these things is the orientation is really important so if we look at our petal again the z is pointing out and that's really important if you don't have the z out then the orientation when it's attached to teo will be incorrect okay let's hide that and we'll go to insidium teo and we'll get a flower so what we're going to do basically is replace these parts on the flower with our custom objects and we can unhide those. So let's start. We'll go with the receptacle. We'll go into the main tab for the receptacle and you can see we have this custom object link. And here we can drop in our receptacle and that will change the receptacle on the model. So we go to the sepal, geometry, get our custom object and we'll put our sepal in here. You can see that's updated and we'll fix the scaling and everything orientation once we've got everything in place. So we'll go back to our flower, pistol, and put the pistol in there. Petal, go to the geometry tab, put our petal in. And then last is the stamen, but we'll come back to that because we're going to do something slightly different with the stamen. So we're going to turn that off for now, and we're going to look around and make sure everything is as should be. Let's hide that leaf because that's for the stem. Okay, I can see that our receptacle is slightly offset, so we can just go into the main tab and adjust the position, and we'll get that to connect up. Let's turn the sepals off so we can see. So let's move that position so it joins up with the pistol nicely. Yeah, one more. No, nope, that was all right as it was. Okay, cool. Let's get our sepals next. We'll turn the petals off so we can see what we're doing. So the sepals, now they're way too big. So we can just go to the geometry. We can adjust their size. Bring that right down, let's say 0.4. And if you want a bit of variation in those as well, just to make it a little bit more natural, but building bricks is not really like nature, so we don't need to do that. Let's keep it like that. And then when these things are inside of Teo, you can do a couple of things. You can adjust, adjust the size and you can adjust the orientation. So we have an orientation slider here, so you can adjust how, that, how these things are working. So we'll do something like that. And in the main, I'm just going to adjust the radius, bring those slightly in, something like that. Okay. And we can come back and adjust the orientation later. We'll have a look at how the petals are looking. So let's enable the petals. And these, I'm going to change their size slightly, bring them down a bit, something like that. I'm going to adjust their position bring them up and bring the radius in a bit so they're attached to that pistol like that and you can adjust the count so if you want more or less of these you can adjust that 
And again, orientation is fully adjustable. And because we've set this up with the hierarchy on our petal objects, you can adjust that curve as well if you need to, depending on what you want to do. But I'm happy with that. I might just bring that orientation down a bit more. Okay, so there's the main flower part. And the next thing we want to do is we want to look at this stamen. So I'm going to turn off everything apart from the pistol and then enable stamen. So the stamen, we're going to keep the geometry that comes with the Teo and we're going to adjust it in here. So we're going to, let's get our wireframe up so we can see the wireframe. So we're going to bring these up and I'm going to change the distribution to walled, which creates that ring. And then you can adjust the radius. Something like that should look fine. Okay, we'll go to the geometry and I'm going to reset this curve here because we, let's bring it up so we can get a bit more access to it. Reset this curve and make it flat. So we just got this nice flat curve here and we want more geometry. So we're going to increase the height segments and the width segments. So we've got loads of segments in here. And the reason for that is we're going to create what looks like little building bricks just using the profile spline. So that should be okay. Now I've already made a preset spline here, so I'm going to load my preset. It's this, so double click. You can see it makes all these little indents. So we need a bit more segments here to get that to look as good as it can. Like that looks good. And you can see if I bring this out, it's just, I've created all these little points here and then brought down the middles and that just creates that nice little indent. So it looks like they're little building bricks. So let's turn off our wireframe. So it already looks quite cool like that. So let's bring this down, a flower. And then with a stamen, I want one sitting on the top. So I'm gonna to go to the add parts and add another stamen as a child, which creates these little guys here. Okay, so let's just put a material on there for now. We're gonna to need to change how that's done, but these are just little redshift shaders, default shaders from redshift. Okay, so we want this stamen and we just want a single one. I'm gonna change it to radial, which we'll put it in the middle. And then we're gonna bring it all the way to the top one. So bring it right up to the top. So it's sitting on the top there. That's good. And then we're going to bring in our geometry. So into the geometry tab, we're going to change it to our cylinder, which creates that. And then we can adjust the size, something like that. We have some orientation here. Now this will adjust uh, as we change the orientation of these. So you need to kind of tweak it as you go. So I'm just going to, don't need to count, make it slightly bigger, like that, cool. And then with our main stamen modifiers, let's add a furling so we can bring it out and you'll see that they rotate and that's not quite what we want, but once it's set up, we can leave it. So let's bring it down go back to the main tab and just adjust our angle again to suit something like that. That's good. Okay. So now we can rebuild all the components do, 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 like that. And there's our flower looking pretty cool, quite trippy. So let's put a stem on this. So we go to Cidium, Teo, Teo plant, and we'll add a trunk. And with this trunk, let's, change its height. So we're going to do a 20 centimeter with a two centimeter thickness. And we're just going to, again, reset the spline Need to make it bring it up. Make sure it's a single thickness. That's too thick. So let's go one. Okay. Again, we need to adjust our geometry on here because we need it a lot. So we go to global settings, change this to 0.1 might even need to go lower, but we'll see how it gets on. 
plant layers, trunk, and adjust the ring segments. So just get that nice clean quads, something like that. And then we can load our preset again. So it's got the same sort of geometry as our other ones. We've got these little building blocks that make up the stem. So that looks cool. Let's come down here. And what we'll do is we'll add our flower to the top. So let's go to add part, add custom object. And you've got a custom object link. We just drop our flower in there. And that puts that on the top. And you can see one thing that happens here is our stamens lose that material and what I found is if you put that onto our plant it gets it but we can also put a material into the trunk so just put a nice green in the trunk and that fixes that problem okay let's add some leaves add part add leaf and we want the one on the top off and then go to geometry custom object and here we're going to put our leaf in so let's unhide that and it's added these leaves to the stem so let's adjust a couple of things go to the main tab adjust the scale something like that let's do 1.5 then we're going to distribute these slightly different so i want them away from the top and away from the bottom and more in the middle bring them up you can adjust the count let's get a few more in there and we'll keep the scale, but if you wanted to, you could adjust the scale as it goes up. So they're bigger at the bottom, smaller at the top, but again, building bricks don't do that. And then we can adjust the orientation. So we'll bring those up, something like that, and then just bring the base ones down a bit. Okay, so I might just bring this one down a bit further. So back in the distribution, we will get these two knots bring them down just to make sure that that top one is away from those sepals a bit more something like that then we can adjust that orientation again to suit and the last thing is go to the trunk and let's add a furling modifier that means we can bend this flower around something like that now if the actual flower parts too big you can again just that size to suit that something like that looks pretty cool so there's a, the flower and if you want a few more of them it's quite easy to just grab a growth object just drop those in there then you've got a little flower patch of these cool custom building block flowers so I'll turn that off and focus on the main one. So that's a quick tip on how to use custom objects inside of Teo to create these cool building block style flowers.